All right, Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to ask the universe for messages, Taurus. All right. Oh, a lot of arguing. Could be arguing in the home. This could be with the person you're with. Oh, but there's love. You guys love each other. The Two of Cups is here. But yet there could be a lot of could be a lot of passion too. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. All right, let's see what's going on here with you. Because you have, oh, okay. A lot of fighting could lead to a major breakup. This also might have something to do with the move. This is two people. One wants to move, the other one does not. So someone needs to think this over with the four swords. If it's not a move, it's just arguing, not getting along. Fool. Some of you are thinking about starting something new. You're tired of this. If this isn't you, this is your partner. Someone is thinking, like, this is just too much work. We're always arguing. New love would be easier. Okay, there's your energy. So someone might actually be thinking about you when I see it this way, Taurus. This could be someone in your energy right now. They may be arguing with their partner. You may or may not know about this. Because if this doesn't resonate with you, this is someone who's thinking about you and they're thinking, you know, something new with Taurus would be a lot better than where I'm at now. Because I found, you know, Ten of Cups can mean, not, doesn't mean that someone's happy. I've seen it in personal readings. It could be that someone has the house, the car payment, the job, the children. They're, they have it all and they feel overwhelmed. So let's see what's happening. Seven of Wands, moving away, wanting, wanting to like end this arguing, wanting to block at Seven of Wands, not wanting to deal with something anymore and wanting to move to a more peaceful environment. Eight of Wands, communication, and Seven of Cups, wondering what this person, what they're thinking, they may be thinking about you. Hmm. Ten of Swords is under there. So whoever this is, Taurus, it could definitely be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be someone, though, who has, you know, the hots for you with the King of Wands, King or Queen of, Queen of Wands. They're trying to figure out the best path to take. And again, you might know who this is. This might be in your energy, and this might be you and your partner. But there's a lot of, I see, someone just really doesn't want to deal with this any, anymore. They're tired of the arguing and the drama. They want the peaceful, calm water. So someone could be reaching out to you right now, communicating. And this may be going on in the background. You may not know about all this. That's why tarot is nice to see details, but also High Priestess tells me you need to listen to your intuition, what this person is saying, Eight of Wands. Uh, they may want to come visit you with Eight of Wands also. Nine of Wands. They're tired and worn out. Could be arguing. Page of Swords, harsh words. Could be watching you, looking you know, online and all that with Page of Swords energy. Doesn't really feel that, like that's what they're doing here, but... They also may be very straightforward. Page of Swords can be a very straightforward energy. But this person is thinking, you know, they're wondering about a new beginning is what I'm feeling with you. How would it go with the Seven of Cups? Hmm. King of Coin. Five of Swords. That's kind of like the win at, win at all cost. Um, let me go on the four swords really quick. Queen of Cups, Page of Coin, yeah. This is very clear and this is very specific. This could be, okay, heads up that this could be, I'm kind of feeling this is a very specific reading for someone viewing. This looks like to me someone who's already married with children could still be love with the wife or the wife still loves them or vice versa. This person sees you as their escape almost. Like they want to be with you. I feel like this person daydreams about you also, Taurus. They think about what the two of you could have living together, getting out of this arguing, this energy and being, you know, happy with you. 
Careful though, because it could start as the seven of swords, a secret, a secret affair, that type of energy. Also, do you know that this person's married? Some of you, a lot of you will know they are. And then you're like, well, this person says they're always unhappy. They want to be with me, but I don't know if I can trust them. I'm seeing this person being honest as in they're fighting a lot. They're unhappy where they're at. Could be a lot of fighting over the kids when I see Page of Coin. Could be a lot of fighting over money. Um, Queen of Cups, yeah, they could be within a water sign. But that tells me one partner, though, in this marriage wants to probably work it out or fix it. They're not ready to let go. Because it's probably not a water sign. It's someone who still has a lot of emotion invested in this house, home, kids, family, relationship. But this person, I feel, is coming towards you very quickly, Taurus. And I feel like they're ready to like get you on the same page with them. They're like, let's move in. Let's get this moving forward. I'm unhappy. Let's be together, Taurus. And you're like, well, wait a minute. Wait. You know, I feel like you're ready to move forward, but yet you're not sure of the details. You're not sure if maybe you should trust this person or if this is a good idea. I don't see, I don't see worry, but what is the seven of swords? What is the seven of swords? Okay, they're sleeping together, or you're sleeping with them, I should say. Okay, lovers, especially in this deck, is just that. Sex, love, passion. This person is really hot on you. There's going to be a lot of sex, but I think that might make you wonder about getting involved with this person. Should you, should you do this? Should you move forward? So it could start as a secret love affair. This may be where it's at already. Maybe some of you... Now, this might be an earth sign you're dealing with, but there's a lot of passion, so you're wondering what they're thinking. What do they think of the Seven of Cups? Do they love me? Do they want to get divorced? Do they want to be with me in the Four of Wands? I can't read this person. Maybe they have been a little bit short with you, Page of Swords, like that you know that they're not happy where they're at, their home, but they haven't made any clear communication decision with you. What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups, King of Wands energy? One more time. Okay, Knight of, Knight of Cups, they're coming in hot and fast for you with love, emotion, romance, all of that. What is the Page of Swords, though? What is the Page of Swords? Now, you might be watching them, too. If you already know about this situation, um, you're probably trying to figure out if they're being sincere. Page of Swords. Temperance. Okay. No, they're not answering you. So what I'm seeing here is they're very cut and dry when they're communication. The two of you are together. But when you ask about the house, the home, the ex, the wife, whatever, they don't really tell you the whole story. They're not giving you clear communication. Are they going to leave this person? Are they going to um, divorce? So I think this, this relationship keeps you confused and up in the air. And though it's fun and there's passion and there's a, probably a very strong connection with the two of cups between the two of you, um, you're probably looking out for your long-term interest. Like, is this something you want to be a part of? Okay, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So just probably a lot of sex between the two of you. A lot of romance. You guys probably like to be together. One more card, please. Okay, finances and career. Okay, weddings under the deck. So again, when I see these two, a lot of times... When they are not a king of coin or a queen they and they are married, they come up in this suit because it shows me they have a lot of money tied to this relationship. And they may not divorce because of the cost involved, getting lawyers, splitting assets, if they have a, a business together. So this is a reading very, very specific to someone wondering, are they going to leave the wife or the husband? Are they going to... Um, be with me. Now, another thing, though, hmm, wedding was under the deck. Obviously, honeymoon comes after a wedding. There's finances and career, though. You might know this person at your job. This person may be talking about marrying you. Even if they're already married, they may be saying, I'll get a divorce, because Tower is my divorce card. So that's also interesting, though. Uh, let me put a card in the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups, again, tells me that there's someone involved in this relationship who has still not given up on this relationship. They still have love for whoever you're dealing with. Queen of Cups, please. They're still communicating. Yeah. 
the, the husband or wife doesn't want to end it yet. Okay. I feel like the person you're dealing with, the, they do. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what this person's going to do. Just so you know, the ex, or the, they're not an ex yet. I keep calling them an ex, but they're still together, is communicating with them. So you'll be with this person, and then you'll get a text from the wife or husband. And you'll, you'll wonder, okay, where are we going? So let me pull one more card from a different deck that might give a little more clarity and see if there's anything here. The moon. Okay, so again, that is things about, that's things being hidden. Just like the moon card in the tarot. It says, instincts and intuition will lead the way through the darkness. You need to look beyond the obvious to know the truth. Sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they are, they mean something else altogether. You have this power right now, Taurus. You're being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look at what's really going on behind the scenes. Okay, we will. Yeah, because a lot of you are confused about this relationship, this person. Is it just, you know, sex? Are they going to leave the other person? One more card, please. Vision. All right. It's kind of the same energy somewhat but let me see just the line it says what you lose in your life something better will replace it no matter what you what you lose okay if a loss feels devastating at the moment you still have so much to gain they want you me to pull another card with this one also it's like if you lose your mark you can lose something now, but you'll have a better vision into the future with this card is what it's saying. Like you'll know. Okay. We have big moons on both of these. I'm surprised the moon didn't show up in our tarot reading, but we did get high priestess, which again, you're being told to listen to your intuition about this person. If you feel like this person is not being honest and is not going to leave their spouse, they probably will not. But let's see. Grove. Okay. Grove is about healing taking things slowly, um, not rushing anything. So it's not really a negative card at all. It says to heal your wounds and mend your heart. Yeah, it talks about basically if someone has hurt you, the grove will heal your pain. So for some of you may be ending this relationship is what this is showing me. Some of you are listening to your intuition. You're saying this person is not going to leave their ex or spouse and you're realizing that if you stay with them like it won't go anywhere for some of you others of you are going to cut this relationship now and it's going to hurt and you're going to be very sad but in the future you will have something better come in i feel like this person may be very passionate very romantic with you there's you know a lot of love and you're trying to figure out what to do is this going to go somewhere Yeah, so I feel like it's saying for a lot of you to let this go because they're not, they haven't, they're not planning to let go of this relationship at this time is what it's showing me. But being a general reading, it will vary. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I hope this is helpful. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.